Hi, I'm Derek Melber, Technical Evangelist for the AD Solutions team here at Manage Engine. I often get customers that want to have some type of workflow built in to the management of objects within Active Directory. Unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't give, a, give us a tool to provide that level of detail. However, AD Manager Plus actually has a complete section dedicated to workflow and making sure that we can separate the duties and ensure that the right people are suggesting the object to be created, approving them, and then actually executing the object to be created. Now, we call this in AD Manager Plus workflow. You can see that we can have requesters, approvers, executors. You really have a lot of options built into AD Manager Plus. Now, what you'll want to do is you will want to create your certain requester roles. Now, the requester is the first piece of this, as we see in our workflow overview. The requester is going to be the person that wants the object created, but there may be reasons why it shouldn't be created or shouldn't be created the way the requester wants it. So we need the requester role because this is the first portion. Now we're just going to focus here on user creation. Now of course during user creation we want the user to be able to create the user or at least request it and then also have a set of templates to choose from. This is important to make sure that we keep the standards within the organization. Now, here what we have is we have that the HR manager is a requester. So the HR manager here has the user creation requester role. Obviously, you can create other requester roles as well with the details around what you want requested. We also have an approver. So here, since possibly we might be creating a finance user, we want the finance manager to approve that this user is appropriate for that particular department. Then we have executors. In this case, we can have an admin or even individual users listed here to make sure that the right people have the ability to execute this. Now, all in all, the workflow has the ability to have emails sent and keep logistics of the entire process in place. You can also just have the people involved in the workflow look inside of AD Manager Plus as the process continues. So let's first of all go in and let's log in as our requester to see how this works. So we're going to sign out and log on as our HR Manager. And our HR Manager is going to go to Requests. Going to request a single user to be created. Here you can notice that there is a template that you can choose from and you can change the template. Now, this particular template is very simple, which is what we want. You simply need to put in the first name and then the last name. The template takes care of all the other information, including any other information that might be related to groups, passwords, um, might be some Office 365 configurations, Google configurations. All of that can be located in the template. Now, we request that this user be created and you'll see here that's been sent to the request. Now we're going to sign off here and then we're going to log on as the finance manager. Now the finance manager if you recall and part of the workflow is the approver. So you'll be able to see here that there's been a request ID. It needs approval but we want to know exactly what the object is. So we can view the object, look at the details to make sure everything is correct for the object. And then if it is correct, the finance manager can approve this. Any comments can be listed here. Now that it's been successfully approved, the only thing that needs to be done to finish this off is someone that has the ability to execute this is going to receive an email or look in their box and see that there is a request. So there's an approval and this needs to be executed. Again, the person executing wants to look at the details, make sure they're correct, and then execute the information. So as you can see, along the way, this process now is dealt with with a role-based approach. Now the people that are requesting can't actually put the object in Active Directory.
So depending on who you need in your workflow, you can add or remove the overall process as objects go through the creation process. This has been Derek Melber. Thanks for watching.